These are People. cuck vibes right now. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. Okay, well, I'll hand, you would like me to take that out of my title is what I feel that you guys are communicating to me here, correct? I stop being a punk ass! I don't care. Whatever. Christ, this is cuck shit. <laughs> 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 well, if everyone else likes it, you know. You're gonna end up confusing people and make lazy content creators skip your video. You don't want that. That's a lot to unpack. According to her. However, much like Anthony, the times. No, you're lying again. I'm not <sighs> even gonna go into that. This will be enabled me to skip a big part of these, okay? You <sighs> see how much we're about to skip. The video you gotta keep the same energy. When you're acting one way on your channel about people that you're talking shit about every single day, and then you go on their panel and act completely and totally different and pretty much kissing up to them and- We, we don't get along. Since when? Are you not Since being when? given money by Katie Joy? Is she well, a wrench? No. By, doesn't she have a wrench on your channel? Documenting my experience with Katie. I know it's been up and down with you too. Me and Katie. No, no, bullshit, Unirock, bullshit. <laughs> no, Unirock, you are a wuss. Well, no, they're not because you just admitted that, you weasel. What? Disclaimer. Commentary is meant for entertainment and educational purposes. I provide my opinions along with facts and will disclose such. I will try to bring as much accuracy and verification as much as I can, but I still strongly urge you to do your own research. I do not condone contacting or harassing anyone. Anything a person does is out of their own accord and they do not speak for me. All offended feelings are also your own. There is strong language used. Footage used in this video and gameplay follow under fair use. I do not own any trademarks from these companies. Gameplay footage is my own playstyle. False copyright strikes and claims will be countered. Thanks. Hello everyone. I did this video sort of on a whim, so don't expect a super serious deep dive. It would still be articulate than anything the subject of this video says, however. I feel like each time I think I'm finished with the script, I ended up having to rewrite or add shit because this ass clown is still going on with his piece of shit useless self. So don't be surprised if there is crap missing since he goes live every single goddamn day spewing more verbal diarrhea. I'm trying to catch up, hence the delay of the video, but it never seems like it's gonna end until he gets his greasy white trash self sued. <sighs> Um, I really don't plan to make a follow-up video, so that's why I wanted to wait it out a little bit. On a side note, um, normally I find that people who repeatedly say that they're real or honest over and over and over again, like a broken record, are very much not that at all. Chances are, it's the very opposite. It's almost as if they're trying to convince themselves as much as to others that they are fair, that they will seek truth. In fairness, uni shit isn't the only one in that group of uh, miscreants. Charming creators on the screen are also guilty of it too. Feel free to share anyone else who falls under that category. I suspect most of you already know about the background for both KJ and Uni, it is a mile long. I want to add in my commentary, but I also want to include a few streams that don't get addressed as much as I think they should, or points that I wish could be addressed more. Let's get to his specific antics, which I know he won't be able to disprove because I have clips of shit that's coming out of his own mouth along with past doxing and harassing behavior that he's done in the past, which I will uh, explain briefly. I'll show my face during the conclusion of the video because I do have a lot of, to say instead of just um, uh, complaining behind like gameplay footage. Don't worry, I'm not a faceless YouTuber. I just don't really feel like being in front of a camera right now because 
I look like shit. <laughs> but um, I do want to look at you in the eye on camera at the end with my tr with my authentic feelings on everything that has transpired in this tragic tragic situation i'll try not to be too blunt and harsh but i'm not gonna make no promises so a bit of a background um with why i'm recording this it's to say that a well-established fact that we can all agree on on is that KJ has ruined the Justice for Vaughn movement. Something that was meant to be positive for not just a marine in a fucking coma, but for possible male DV victims, or even people who struggle with suicidal thoughts. It provokes a discussion of the suspicious circumstances in an investigation. Something that's nuanced, something that you want to handle correctly. Unfortunately, the family and even Vaughn is now being shit on due to this trashy tea channel along with her cult mem members. However, she is not the only one playing a role. On a side note, and I'm going to say this right now, I am by no means a Molly Go Lightly su supporter or just justice for all. They have their own issues. But, and I do know some of their... Uh, <laughs> spicy history that's just putting it lightly but in all honesty i do not have a reason to believe that she is abusing this mo this movement because think about this if she really was exploiting this for views why would she still be defending leticia and bond's family rigorously despise despite the story coming to a standstill it's been pretty inactive since I believe July, if she really didn't care about the story, she wouldn't be in contact still with Letitia, along with her moderator Goose, and move on to some other true crime or trauma case, just like any other exploitative true crime channel. And with Molly's uh, financial background she discussed, uh, I think she would do just fine without YouTube. I think her heart is actually in the right place here, whether you like it or not. A broken clock is right twice a day. That's what the saying goes. You'll hear that frequently throughout the video, matter of fact. This is something I shouldn't even have to say to adults, yet here I am. Now, there are YouTubers who do financially benefit with true crime cases, which honestly is not the most evil thing, especially if it's a past done and over with case. But it is also a special kind of evil if they're being malicious, that they have underlying motives, pretending to care. It's bad enough to exploit and be a trauma vulture, but to spread misinformation to incite harassment is just a low. And you can't get any more vile, hateful, disgusting, tone-deaf pieces of trash such as Yudi Bitch and without a brain cell way more people than 4k in those early streams but those are rumors don't take them as serious Stop. i can make whatever i want off this story i have not attached this story to marvon's death see i'm taking in tips they're taking in donations for an emergency completely different scenario <laughs> the words of a true genius. Bro, what? Oh my god. Imagine saying that out loud in front of your idiot followers and thinking you sound good or genuine in any single way. I cannot imagine me saying that with a straight face and not thinking, yeah, I'm genuine totally unbiased how could i be exploiting a man who commit tried to commit suicide and is in a coma i'm totally not a grifter at all man tips and donations two completely different things oh my goodness it's just that clip speaks for itself i feel like it, if you want to click off of the video now feel free to because i think i made my argument pretty clear <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway. This stream is about four hours long. Um, but I know the argument that Unograk has been making against Molly um, and basically any others who have criticized him is that he was never given a voice by them. Now, this is false. And what I'm about to show you, the, some context, is that this was a few weeks to a month before Creepshow was doxxed in this server. That's when Unicuck became a turncoat against KJ and wanted to be seen as someone who doesn't advocate for harassment or doxxing. But let's be real, the harassment ex aspect is exactly what he does. And the only times he'll speak out against doxxing is if it's something that will damage his channel. If that wasn't the case, he would have spoken out against Sa All Things Sassy and Charlotte, two smaller, cr smaller but great creators, um, instead of a creator he didn't even like to begin with. The, Mo uh, the Molly in Justin Live is not the only time he was given a chance, multiple chances, and he, but he still blew it. It's almost like deja vu and nothing has changed. Um, I'm only including some moments I found while listening to this four hour live stream and I wrote down the timestamps, eight to be exact. I know there's more, but I wanted to clip the most golden moments where four different creators, all more successful and enjoyable to watch than he is, ask him the same goddamn question. What argument are you trying to make? Even though he just admitted he didn't do any research. And besides, if I tried including all of those moments, we'd be here all day. A waste of my time is a waste of your time. Unirock, you said you had files that would change the conversation. Is that true? No, the file? Uh, let's not pretend like this is just going to devolve. And if you want to bring up something, go ahead. I will. I will. Okay. I'll give you guys all well, night if you want. Right up. Make it. Make your argument. I am making it. Make it. Make it. One go more ahead. time. My argument is that back when this all started, that the campaign that was lodged against Katie has grown and and uh, and morphed a little bit. Uh, I've been don't think don't make it. Anyone tries to talk We've been to in this so fucking oh, annoying, like, dude. Like, you like, have like, to like, understand. Like, like, no, no, no. Listen, no, no, no. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. You have to fucking understand how frustrating it is when you're like, you do something. I'm like, what are you doing? And then you're, I'm not doing anything yet. What the fuck? Okay, you want to make an argument? Make it right now, please. No. My core argument, I want, like, what is the well, core I'll thing make it on my live stream. Believe in. It, it's having a hard time getting it through here, and I understand why. I do streams like this all the time. I get it. But, and I love it. I'm not putting it down. I... What is, like, the core, like, uh, point of contention here? Like, what is something that, it. about the situation that you, uh, agree with with all your, like, you agree with so hard that you'd come into the stream to, like, argue with people about it? Like, what is the thing that you fully believe in that we don't? I want to know the core right. argument. Thank you. Show okay, your intention. Like, what wild. message do you want to, like, put out there? Like, what are you trying to say, like, we should do or the audience should do oh. differently that is not already being done? Because well, I think all of the mean. reactions have been relatively rational, so I'm just wondering, like, what do you think should be different? Um, well, go ahead. What is the context? Because you just said, I don't want to say it. Just tell me the full context. Well, I was saying that I just don't want to piss you off because I have important clips that will, for me watching your past videos, would, I, I think, you being someone who tries to... Okay. Now, I'm going to summarize what was going on in that stream, and those are just eight significant clips, in my opinion, were the funniest and very telling. Once again, I'll link the full stream. The timestamp where his ass gets dragged in is about the two hour mark. This is what happened, what he was trying to say or babble about, just to keep you up to speed. So he keeps shifting the goalposts. Regarding Shannon's video at the time, first he said she got the video wrong about a YouTuber who had sexual harassment claims and a restraining order against him. But if someone wasn't totally ignorant, would know that Shannon specifically said that she would not get into it. She did not make a point about it. He basically only watched four minutes of the entire 45 minute video and then try to schedule a stream where she supposedly got everything about KJ wrong. 
even titled it as such. Or basically a clickbait title, let's be real. When he got in, of course, he was debunked within min minutes, if not seconds. He was arguing about a point or topic Shannon didn't even make. And he would have known that had he watched the full video. Now his second point was that he wanted to show evidence of these sexual harassment allegations again that could change everyone's mind. Need I remind you she only mentioned it but did not want to discuss it? The fact that I'm saying this a second time is just really annoying. Furthermore, what exactly does that claim have to do with KJ not taking ac accountability? I think his point was, well, because of all this alleged bullshit that I personally don't even believe, um, is affecting how she behaves. Um, again, I don't know what that has to do with um, behaving towards other creators, harassment towards Tati, the lawsuit, or lawsuits, and etc. He was reminded a third time that no one was talking about the YouTuber at all. And I'm sorry, I have to refer him as that because if I feel like I so much mention this guy's name when this video is criticizing just one person, just one, he will send the cronies after me. Almost the same way Un Unirock tried to spin it in Augie's stream, something that nobody was even talking about. Him trying to debunk something that he said someone got wrong, though the point wasn't even made nor cared enough to. We don't care about his drama with the YouTuber. We really don't. Then his point morphed to KJ being discarded poor lady and that's why he, she acts the way she does. Um, he basically says that we as people who should know better as humans are responsible to an entitled woman to change her behavior. Nobody is obligated to help her, okay? We shouldn't have to tell a 45-year-old woman that called an essayed child a brat to not falsely copyright strike people, to dox an influencer's family, to contact someone's sponsors, to not maliciously post financial records and defame everyone and their mother. Is this your way of trying to come off as this moderator or good guy who takes all sides? Because then you later say in that same stream that you only got Katie's side and no one else's and you claim that you didn't know. There are, there is um, a multiple statements that evidence is always given to you, but you just seem to ignore it. The fact that you are trying to ba spin basic human decency as this medal or a coach lesson that we need to learn tells us about you too, that you don't know how to do the right thing. That doesn't make you a non-biased moderator and uh true seekers again with that term they take all the a real person takes all sides here here's everyone out they don't conveniently leave something out they look at all of the evidence and not accuse every single person of being a hater or part of this oh my god harass me campaign call the fucking newspapers that makes you a simp my dude someone who can't even research research their shit should not be calling themselves a middleman that's not, that's not how it works. Then his point now became that KJ has this troll army, which by the way, are we in fucking middle school adults throwing around the terms haters and trolls? No offense to anyone, but I'm just like half of these people's ages and I don't use those terms at all. Even um, ironically, it's just, it, it, it's just too much. Then his point <sighs> changes again, become... Oh, these people don't care after the whole panel accurately interpreted or clarified what he's saying, repeating his own words. I think you guys would care, honestly, at this point. I think you're more concerned with what you criticize, and I understand that. And I think we do two different worlds. I think I'm doing one style of content, you guys are doing another, and that's fine. But that's my point. If what you're saying is that you have been dedicated to watching only one side which is the no. people who do not like Katie. No, no no you're gonna let me finish I am, the people but... who Katie, let her and go and try not to interrupt her because it disrupts her microphone protecting some 
I'm detecting, and this could just be me reading into it, but I'm detecting a little bit like of like subtle like jabs or whatever at our content. It's like, oh, these silly live no, streams no, you do. Dude, oh, no, the, no, my, my live streams are silly. I think you it, obviously. I think you guys have seen a couple of them. My live streams are stupid as fuck. So no, I'm not taking jabs at you. I was making jabs. Yeah, at myself. but here's the I'm problem with that out, defense. So I'm just being real. Yeah, yeah, but let I, me... I watch your shit, my guys. Okay, I watch okay. Your stuff. Let me explain the problem with your defense, right. and then I will let Shannon go ahead. But I think the problem with your defense by devalidating your cont, by saying, oh, they're just silly streams or whatever, oh, me, is that you minimize the criticism that comes your way. Oh, I just I do a stupid little live stream. No. Do you not see it that way? I don't know, because my live streams are different from my content. They're on two different channels, so it's like, you know, I do my serious stuff on one channel, I do my shitty stuff on another, so... Um, my point is that a lot of the hate that's going at Katie right now is over, uh, let's say, shit that's being misrepresented. And yeah, I get that. That's what people do to stir up drama sometimes. No, I'm not saying any of you guys. Um, it's so, misrepresented. I guess. It has been misrepresented. Bring up a point that's no, wait, actually no, wait, wait, valid wait about what has you been misrepresented. You can't just say not you guys and then make a broad general I will. No, I, I wasn't done. Like, but I wasn't. I'm not talking about your us. He wouldn't say that if he wasn't in the call with us. Not true. Not true, actually. I've criticized Nicholas before, like, son. Like, but I wasn't, like, so I know. <laughs> yeah, okay, here, this, but... is, this, this, this is, here's a pattern that I'm seeing you do, and I just want to call this out You don't quick. even know me. You... I'm just you saying based off me. what I've seen. Based off what I've you seen. Based off me. what I've seen. Based off what okay, I've seen. Okay, go ahead. Based off what this I've conversation, seen. sure. Ba okay. ba basically, <laughs> what I what I see is that, and, and I know you two, I know people who do this. All right, this isn't like a uh, uncommon thing. Is basically you make an extremely hyperbolic statement about someone like Shannon got it wrong. Then as soon as you get in a call with them, no. you try to buddy buddy up with them. I haven't friends. even had that's a how you, I'm not And uh, that's enough. probably what you, you did without fight. a crystal I can ball. Fight. You're, you're saying you're saying you made videos against uh, without a crystal ball. She probably contacted you and then you probably sucked up to her. That's probably what you did. People have done that to me. People have made exposed videos on me. I get in a call with them and they try to fucking suck up to me, dude. It's literally I get it's it. a strategy that so many people do. Maybe you're not the one I doing it, but I just see the mm. pattern. I'm not I claiming 100% you do it, but you see the pattern here, right? No, I do understand that that helps your argument too. Uh, what but, I'm uh, saying is, okay. one second, I haven't been studying or looking at for my content. So I don't think people are watching my content. I think you're just looking at a couple little streams. My so you heard that. The sighing, the passive aggressive bitch boy behavior and the delusions of grandeur that those people were below him that they just don't understand that they aren't hearing him out. Uni, people are hearing you out. I think the issue here is that I don't think you understand that you can't hear yourself whenever you open your mouth. He wants courtesy, wants people to really shut up when they turn the heat up, and in no way he was being piled on. Aki was very patient, Boblax and Muda were more than kind, but they were blunt. He was the one gaslighting and mansplaining, on the other hand, and throwing jobs as, oh, we can scream if you want, though they were calm. Asked repeatedly what his point was, and also asked several times to send them evidence. DMs, recordings, videos. Did he ever send it? No. Nothing while he was in that two-hour call. The only time Augie raised his voice, as you see, and along with Bo Blacks, was when Uni was cucking out and accused them of not caring, not getting his point, that they were being too angry, blah 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 blah. Anyone in their position would have snapped within the, within the first five minutes. So I kind of commend them. If Uni seriously thinks this is what internet blood sports are, it would be a massacre if he tried that shit with me on a call, let an let alone IRL. Every single time in the beginning when he was attempting to argue, he immediately went to going on about that YouTuber in the sexual harassment claims. Nobody cares, dude. They really don't. Just because they're not spamming it all over Twitter doesn't mean that anyone else should. Uni is the one getting mad in the call, even though he's accusing others to be getting angry. You can tell how heated it was getting when he was being de de deconstructed. Once I wish he had his camera on, <laughs> it would be even more evident, but I think the, his tone of voice was obvious enough.
and the a panel had it right. He would be singing a different tune on his stream, away from them, after the call. Not to mention, he tried to do exactly what he's doing now. Agree with everyone on that stream, only going back to his channel and talking shit. And they were all right. So much like now with Molly, Justin, and Goose. People can bring up the argu argument that the Augie debate was two years ago. I get that. But the core problem is that history is repeating itself. ...to bust you or put you down or anything as much as, you know, maybe that's what you think. I, I just want, you know, we, we're getting bombarded. Well, I, I, when you dox people, I don't, like, I, I, I know that you probably don't think you did or something, and there was, you were probably... Uh, uh, boss? Uh, 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 watch Steve! Spit it the fuck out! An increased attempt, probably like she said, because what people put on her and say about her that... It's a good thing. That money goes a long way to little organizations and it helps them turn into bigger organizations. So that's a good, it's a really good gesture. I just want two hours later. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to get eye to eye, right? And then I said they're trying to manipulate me. Because they led me to believe that several of these sources had manipulated me. Because they were at first. Can we all not admit that? right and trust me at first and they felt like they had to make some excuses and they felt that they had to maybe make excuses for some of the more blatant things that were noticed or commentated on so i said to them i said to navy i'm just going to let him go mom says you wanted to bond with uh molly by katie bashing yes that was a tactic the thing i said about katie was absolutely honest i wasn't trying to be mean to katie these are things katie needs to hear that I was saying to Molly. These are things I need to say to Katie, but I never get an opportunity. As this has nothing to do with Katie Joy. It does. Because that was the only way for me to kind of get them comfortable with me is to tell them about my experience with Katie, make sure I'm honest, and tell them about my experience. So I'll give you an example. That chat does not like me. <laughs> and they were saying some mean stuff. Like they were talking shit about my looks. Guess what? I agree with you. I know I'm not no winner. I'm not, you know, the best looking dude on the block. Molly, on the other hand, showed me tonight that she gets upset when people say things to her on the internet sometimes. So I come upon a clip of, of Molly doxing people. The reason I think Molly wasn't like completely flipping out on me uh, and being nasty because I have reacted to her doxing people and talked about how fucked up it is and how... You know, it does make the entire thing look like a scam. That's why Stan says they said everybody got refunds. Danielle, no. Kelly, no. Trisha, no. They're not being honest. That's the end of the truth and facts. See, Joanne, I do agree with you. Did I get any proof when I went over there? I did not. Flashback. Do you include the 1100 that KJ took back from GoFundMe? She's donated. Uh -huh. She has refunded an additional over $4,000. Well, I, I know that that's what... The, the, the issue is, is you, that there's a... I mean, do you want to see that? I think that people would want to, or, or that maybe, like, it would help... Because you're not believing if, it, right? No, it's not me. It's not me. No, 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 no. I am believing you. <laughs> I'm going to take anything you tell me as you saying it, and then I'm going to apply it to what I have. I'm not going to think anything like you're lying, or I'm not going to put anything like you're, there's negative inference, but I'm just going to look at what we have after seeing what's there you know what i'm saying like end of flashback two weeks later actually withholding it because i want to i have a good reason i swear you have to trust me on my reasons what what sound does a goose make honk honk i'm goose honk honkity honk it only take two seconds man oh that's good you have to trust goose the liar you gotta trust goose even though she lies her ass off all the time why can't goose be a nice duck I'm a simpy bitch boy who's a racist, doxy piece of garbage who sucks more dicks than me and Khalifa. I feel like the cat, my cat who has like been neutered has bigger balls than this guy. Okay. How do you have questions about donating for a situation you know nothing about? Just because you have a hate boner for anything SM related when he so much as sneezes doesn't fucking mean you're suddenly an expert of fundraising. As far as I'm concerned, it's only that specific fundraiser you've covered. And even that's questionable because whether you fully exposed because it's a mixed bag. Nobody would come to a 24k to 20k channel 
let's be real. You started out as a shit gaming channel, which good lord, you couldn't even do that right. What context do you, you even have about the situation, which once again, the story is explained to you by Mo Molly Golightly and Justin. But before that, you already have 40, 40 videos in over within a month. One month. How do you make that many videos only to admit openly to a thousand people, or I'm sorry, probably 2k people, not uh, since that's including his brain dead c colds, without apologizing? Almost like a certain gossip bitch who claims to dismantle cults one at a time. Not to mention, that's actually ironically the same amount KJ made on Tati before Tati had enough ensued. And by the way, it was 42 and rising, and matter of fact, it's worse than KJ going on Tati because he has been milking this case within just a month and a half when KJ made 40 over videos on Tati within a year. These streams are about approximately about one and a half uh, to five hours, mostly hitting the four hour mark. I would say three or four hours on average. If that doesn't scream ignorant, uneducated buffoon, as well as incredibly creepy or obsessive, I don't know what else to tell you. He also rejects wanting to see proof by Goose. You decide. That happened literally two hours before he got on his own channel. She very clearly just offered it during the stream, about twice, but he said that they never give him proof. In that same Molly Go Lightly stream, he, see, he actually said he believes her, that he doesn't need to see it, but then he says he look with what he has. What's he gonna look at? Does he really mean he'll just go to KJ and go by whatever she says now, since... It's not really a coincidence as well that he's covering it and has amplified it um, when KJ has actually gone silent about it now, continuing his uh, her dirty work. You can't analyze and look at something you don't know anything about. You're operating on something you don't even have. You reject evidence despite demanding it till you were blue in the face for a month. In other words, he's going la 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 la, I'm gonna keep defaming the shit out of you and hope to god my subs haven't seen that full stream. Which, I mean, well, clearly that didn't exactly work now, did it? It is funny, in that stream of his where he tried to gaslight his followers, he did say that he hopes to work with them again soon, and he said that not just on his stream, but on Molly's. I don't understand why he think anyone would ever trust him to get on panel every ever again. I mean, he did the same with Augie. He did the same with um, this stream, too. So, I'm not surprised at all. Up to you, so here's my thoughts, okay? <laughs> All right, so I went in with the thought process of being reamed by Molly and have her jump down my throat because that's what I'm used to seeing from Molly. And I noticed that there was this little power play happening in the beginning. You can rewatch it if you want. If somebody ends up clipping that, send it to me because I'm going to need it for a video. Anyway, there was a power struggle going on, and it was this – it was a YouTuber uh, – uh, it was an unknown YouTuber power struggle, right? They don't really know who I am. They probably haven't seen me because I've spent a lot of time in the last few years debunking fraud raisers and even uh, doing some commentary. So I don't think I would float by them and they don't know me. And they're probably wondering, is this dude a bigger YouTuber than I think he is? Is he going to embarrass us? Is he going to try to yell at us, right? Even like they said, it, with their chat worried about a flood coming in, I always dis dissuade people from chat brigading and stuff like that because youtube asks us to so the power play started so i i was you know trying to go in i wanted to say something so that i could communicate to them the exact same situation i've been communicating to you guys this whole time that i'm not against anyone i'm still not against anybody um and that i want to make it to where on youtube when there are fundraisers you're comfortable as donators full transparency because it's your money it should be going to where it should go and even molly agreed if you recall part of the conversation she talked about how she got got on gofundme a few times right so it's just they should see the perspective that we have to have creators that come in 
look at these situations and if we can't get we for the first couple of years it was hard excuse me to get police intervention not to arrest we don't want anyone arrested we don't want anyone's go fund me taken down i don't think melissa needs to worry about that because as youtubers i'm comfortable knowing that my content doesn't break the rules and my patreon isn't going to get taken down has started happening right away oh baby not just after these creators got involved and not just off of gofundme oh hell no so are you telling me they set me up they've been trying to blame all this shit on me this whole time and you're telling me they set my ass up oh hell no this better i hope that all of a sudden nonsense is like just kidding or something because i'm gonna be molly you, you try to set me up is that what you've done because that would explain the way you just acted yesterday, wouldn't it? Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no to all of that. Leave it to this dumbass to make 1 plus 1 equals 3, then list all these steps on how he came to that conclusion, and when he is corrected or called out, blame it on a cult or a troll army out to get you. The only one setting you up is yourself. You made yourself look like an uneducated ed Cretan. That's nobody else's fault but yours. Not Molly Golightly's, not Justin, not Letitia, or L, or even KJ's. So we just saw him, full stream in the description boxes by the way, so um, I don't give this fucker any money. And I did it full stream so no one can claim I'm out of context. He admitted that he knew nothing. We just saw that, we just heard that. And now he'll go on his channel, trying to explain away what everyone saw was a lie that we just didn't see him pussyfooting and panicking, rejecting evidence he's been throwing a tantrum about. He came in all cool and collected and cocky and then ran out like a classic wuss. That it was all a figment of imagination and he was really playing four-dimensional chess here. No, really. He is as smart as he thinks he is. We're really just buffoons who cannot understand the multitude of strategies he implemented in that conversation with two of his detractors. He was about as clear and transparent as the fog in Silent Hill. If anyone actually thinks this guy went anywhere and did this whole strategic manipulative of a simple conversation, I think you deserve to be gaslit. Sorry. So, this is his main channel. Uh, 20.4k subs. Definitely a lot more than uh, I can say for myself. <laughs> Sorry, I've been just sort of like slacking on my channel, but that's neither here or there. It can't... his streams can't even hit 1k views or even on his pre-recorded crap. Um, in fairness, he doesn't seem to use this man main channel much, um, though it has a higher sub count than his second channel, which he frequently uses. His second channel seems to be doing slightly better, but not without reason, since he doesn't broadcast much, if at all, on his main channel. He only had one video on the Marvon situation on Unirock 2. As you can see, his sub count rose around June or August and skyrocketed since then. I find it interesting that he won't broadcast from his main channel as if not to lose subs on there in case things go to shit on Rock a lot or if his channel got taken taken down. He can't say he didn't benefit from exploiting a comatose vet and harassing his family. Mind you, the earnings do not include super chats, tips, or PayPal. Especially tips and uh, PayPal and cash app. Those are not going to show up on Social Blade, which only shows your YouTube stuff. He is making far more than listed 
doing five hour streams and picking up subs certainly improves your chances of receiving money as you would expect more live viewers more likely to get some money i wish i could say i feel bad for his followers because i know they're getting fooled but at the same time i don't because i don't really feel sorry for people who just blindly take in everything someone says without question they enabled his terrible behavior even the ones who have been fooled into thinking he cared about fraud raisers when at worst or best really um is that he's a grifter disguising it as caring for those who have been scammed i think we know the real scammer here and it's <laughs> it's definitely not Letitia. I think Unirock should show receipts of the total money he's made with all of these goddamn clickbait and low effort streams. He's very quick and entitled to demand receipts after all. Though then admitting to detractors that he doesn't know or says he can understand why Letitia can't show private information. So I think I can speak for everyone when I say we're just as entitled to know what he does with his money. I mean, is he really improving his channel, as he says? Um, or is he blowing it on vape pens? I mean, I think that's fair to ask, after all. I mean, wouldn't that be considered scamming if he didn't show his receipts? That he isn't improving his channel? Because let's be real, it's a very milk toast blow effort of bullshit that he has out there is no fucking way he can say that he didn't profit from the story because again everything shows otherwise i just showed you that and the fact that there's a lot of malice and negligence is very telling even when uh, leticia was in the hospital after begging him to stop and leave her family alone she had a uh, Bell's palsy, which is caused by stress, had to miss work because she's paying back or accidentally paid back um, people who requested money that never refunded, aka she got scammed, which of course Unirock very much left out conveniently. And you have to remember that not once did he ever bring up KJ in her donation and uh, like her refunding the donation. Or any of the shit that she uh, was up to, like for example, last year with the gift card supposed scam that she was doing for a Thanksgiving giveaway. She also um, re not only refunded the donation, but the Gabby Petito donation was only after she got backlash for exploiting this poor girl. The thing is, I've seen and tried to look up that receipt and it wasn't showing up, so the fact that he doesn't even try to like bother with that despite being this self-proclaimed fraud raiser expert is kind of baffling to me. It is interesting that he doesn't call out KJ for it, but he's very quick to call out people with information he, that he doesn't even have. Something to think about. Especially since that he came out with on Molly's stream on how KJ gets her sources via staffing, like cleaning people that come to celebrities' houses and other shit that he kind of did not say to KJ's face and threw her under the bus only because she called him out on Twitter like just only a few days ago before that stream happened. So... But the yet, he won't ever cover her bullshit. He keeps saying, oh, she's not my friend, but it's interesting because even his uh, KJ and SM videos that he stirred up and essentially did the same thing, just churning it out, low effort, very lengthy streams, even they were getting dog shit views. So the fact that that wasn't working anymore and he jumped on this bad bandwagon, that's when his channel picked up traction again, um, a significant amount than he usually does. So think about that. 
Now, if Molly really wants to sue him, that that she said that she was um, considering, his live stream with her did him zero favors. If not, he actually made it a lot worse. I'll still have to, I'll only believe it if I see it, like any court documents. But I think the timing of her private live streams after her t attorney called on a live. Oh now, if Molly wants to sue, I think she has a pretty decent case because that live stream that she did with him, that he basically got pegged by her, it did him zero favors. I'll still have to believe it when I see it because I want to see court papers, but I do think the timing of her privated live streams uh, regarding him um, right after her attorney called on a live, or during a live, sorry, which, where she had to mute her mic when discussing discussing um, something with her, her him because now if Molly wants to sue she can and I would definitely love to see him get sued to oblivion just to teach him a lesson that he can't just run his crusty ass mouth um, accusing people of crimes with no proof not to mention that live stream did him zero favors if anything it made it look a lot worse because he just admitted that he did not have any information and I guess to add salt to that wound he goes back to his channel and claims that you know he was trying to trick them and you know he was insulting them and all of that um, right after so there's malice too if um, I think negligence is definitely there malice maybe I'm not a legal expert but if the KJ lawsuits, like her 7M one, were anything to go by, um, I think Molly would have a pretty strong case, especially with that live stream that he did. That really shot him in the foot, and I'm sure her attorney would have a field day. I really hope she goes through with it, but again, I'm not sure. She said it would be for principle and on behalf of not just her, but him relentlessly attacking Letitia and Justin and Elle, but especially Letitia, who has suffered the most health, emotional, and physical-wise because of the relentless harassment that was very well documented, such as her crying on a phone, leaving voicemails, and having panic attacks, and begging for KJ and Unipunk to leave her alone, which they didn't. I'll still believe it when I see it, but I think the timing of her privated live streams um, regarding it, uh, right after her attorney called on a live, or during a live, sorry, she had to mute her mic regarding filing suit against him or considering it. She would have a really good case if any of the KJ lawsuits were anything to go by, even though he doesn't really have two pennies to rub together, let alone 5k in damages. She said it would be for principle and on behalf of not just her, but him relentlessly attacking Letitia to the point where she was hospitalized for extreme stress. I mean, after all, he just went on panel saying he knew nothing while accusing them of crimes and then goes back to his channel and attacks them some more and still continues to do what he does, his live streams and increasing the number count. In my opinion, I'm still not a legal expert the way he thinks he is. Wouldn't that be defamation via negligence? And what about defamation per se because he accused her of crimes? I mean, malice could also be added on to it, especially after like him continuing his campaign. He's very clearly profited from making an incest amount of streams and I really don't think he has any plan of stopping soon unless he is like legally held responsible that much is very obvious it would be hilarious and again i hope molly goes after him i don't think her attorney though is going to be paid enough having to listen to all of his streams droning on and on this my own video was painful as it is compiling clips together i just had a lot of fun editing more than anything even though i know it's dog shit I'm sure his uh, defense to a d judge, if it did go to trial, if Molly did go through with it, is, uh, what? What is it that he said? Oh, well, you you dox people, that's why people think you're a scammer. Yeah, I would love for that uh, to f try to be flown by um, for a judge because it would not go well in his favor because one is a crime and one, unfortunately, isn't quite there and he doesn't really have proof of it anyway, so... I think the biggest irony <laughs> in all of this 
a prediction um, is that while he attacks Letitia for donations, which were to really help her with expense expenses regarding lawyers and travel expenses just to see her son. She's still racked with bills from her lawyer getting doxxed and getting a bunch of phone calls adding up to it um, by KJ. I bet my leg he'll crowdfund legal fees for his stupidity and not shutting his uh, mouth uh, when he could, preventing all of this. He dug his he dug his own hole. I hope Molly takes all of those uh those tips, quote unquote, that he doesn't consider donations for whatever reason he earned in his streams far more than what he does in ad revenue. After all, he's gonna need them when he gets bodied in court. Nothing more I'd love to see than him panicking, which he has, when he heard Molly go light Molly go lightly talking to her attorney regarding him and muting her mic. Let's roll that clip now, should we? So, I mean, a lot of money is going to be wasted or spent. Um, but from what I've seen, uh, Molly doesn't really seem to care much about, like, the financial aspect, which is, like, good for her. I think she really just cares about, like, fucking up uni uh, money-wise, so... That's enough for me. I mean, I think that's usually the mostly the goal with half of the defamation suits, just to get people to shut the fuck up. I think she knows that she's she's not gonna get that money, so that's more than enough for her. I don't. That also brings me to the point where I think I already mentioned that I don't think she even needs YouTube. She uses it as more of a hobby. So when people say that she's using this movement to profit, I just don't think that's true. I'm not even a supporter in any way. I'm not a fan of Justice for All or anything. I do sometimes um, like watching LB, definitely enjoy uh, Charlotte, um, but I really don't think Molly has an incentive. I, she's been pretty passionate the most and Letitia wouldn't be trusting her as with information if she wasn't, so that is enough for me. Also, if she really wanted to exploit this story, I think she would have already ditched by now, but she still stands strong with Letitia and is communicating with her. Now, do I think Molly made mistakes during this situation? Oh yeah. The first, obviously, uh, not looking into KJ before collabing with her, which I'm sure haunts her every day, so I don't really want to pile on that too much. Um, but... And also sometimes have impulsive behavior kind of overtake some situations. But other than that, I can't always blame her too because she's been like being poked over and over, over again. And I do hope she can at least get a restraining order for Letitia from KJ and Uni because they don't have any signs of stopping. I just don't understand why she wouldn't do that first and for foremost. But... That's just me. I don't know how they think. I don't know what her attorney um, is advising. That's up to them. But yeah, mistakes were made. I won't lie. I'm not a supporter of Molly once again, so don't call me a stan. I'm not even subscribed to the woman. Not really my cup of tea. But I just can't think that she's financially exploiting this. And this is coming from an outsider view on all of this. So there's that. I guess I would show receipts um, while redacting um, sensitive information uh, just to shut people up. But again, I'm not in Letitia's position and I can finally understand why because even if you give them something, they just ask more and they doubt it. So it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's never enough for these people. And she's not, in, she doesn't owe anyone anything either way. Once again, I want to clarify and emphasize that's what I would do. That doesn't mean I want to say that they should do that, if that makes any sense. And I have no reason to not believe her as well, because lawyers and expenses like travels and food, they cost money. And not to mention now hospital fees as well. So not really an easy position. So I, I can't... I can't really like dictate on that. It kind of makes me uncomfortable even saying that that's what I would do because again, I'm not her.
I am somewhat aware of Molly's uh, <laughs> colorful history, to say at the least. Um, just some of it. But I'm not going to accuse her for something that she didn't do. And I don't really think people should either because it just gives her... Uh, it Or it would give her like a reason to be like the victim. And I don't think people would want that if you dislike her. It just doesn't make any sense. And it's just not something that anyone should do. I would find legitimate reasons to criticize her even during this movement, but that's not one of them. I don't think she's actually committing a crime scamming. There's no proof of that, so it didn't happen. And if anything, it's people who have been on this uh, harassment campaign that have been more criminal in my opinion than anything and I really do hope that they get what's coming to them eventually. If someone really stopped caring about a story aka KJ who pretty much lit a fire and just ran off like a fucking coward and having Unira continue her harassment campaign. Isn't it interesting it's always the people who yap about harassment campaigns yet they're the ones doing that it's interesting to think about. I think it's not so much that I would think that Letitia should show receipts perhaps just to shut people up. I think the core problem is is the entitlement from these people rather than just thinking, hey, this is what I would do, but I understand that you wouldn't want to do it or can't do it. And that's the problem that Yudi Cuck and KJ and her army of idiots seem to have and i could i could try to be a little like forgiving to leticia okay and say maybe she doesn't understand the refund process excuse the fuck out of me what in the shit do you mean you forgive leticia forgive her for something that you just admitted that you don't even know she didn't do or didn't know at all you just outwardly stated you knew jack shit about the situation, never realized the lawyer was doxxed and harassed, Letitia got scammed that you never- again, you never even mentioned to your fucking followers, but you have the nerve to say that she still did something wrong. Not only is this entitlement that I mentioned that's showing, but your ignorance and lack of nuance for every person's living situation, your lack of self-awareness. And one more thing, he never even donated a single penny to this family. He never helped in the first place. He didn't contribute his worthless meat sack self to anything. You think everything needs to go through you. Oh yeah, yes, this is the guy um, that we need to go through. The one that who has 20k subs, that barely gets any engagement, who relies on attacking bigger creators for clout is, you know, this is the super duper important person that we need to go through and we need forgiveness from. His opinion or garbage is actually worth apparently listening to. Someone who thinks he's too good, good to pay his mods and people giving him half-assed research. That's who we need forgiveness from. Approval. Attention. After all, he's the big shot. The real deal on YouTube. The messiah he thinks he is for exposing fraud raiders. Fraud raisers. When in reality, he has as much impact as a warm wet fart in the wind. It's La it's Letitia you sh he should be begging on his knees and chew broken glass for. That ego is as massive as your video count on Ma Molly. However, your sense of humility and dignity is smaller than your dick. Letitia cries harassment, can't prove it. The Dono gals cry harassment and have mountains of evidence. There was no harassment did not start with the refunds at all. I'm not a piece of trash. How in the fuck do these people not think this way? What, what the fuck are they doing? They literally think they can act however they want and they have to hold... Then they have to say, Hey, you guys have to treat me like I'm fucking royalty. You know, Molly and them, Justice for Vaughn, Doc made a great point. What is Justice for Vaughn? What is it? Because as I look at her videos, as I look at her clips, as I've listened to the things they've said, Justice for Vaughn to them was a hashtag not anything real because every time they came up with a mystery it was just a fleeting guess it was a fleeting maybe okay so they would sit there with these fleeting maybes which is basic which, which i have nothing against people making guesses discussing something in a light way whatever it is as long as you're not 
trying to motivate people to take it. They tried to motivate you to take justice for Vaughn more seriously than they themselves were taking justice for Vaughn. That's just a fact. Because they did not do anything. That They were just fine sitting there, dancing around their hotel room. I'm trying to impersonate Molly. I, I think I did a good job, but I allow myself to do it. And no, I wouldn't do it. It wouldn't happen. Kat says, if I was Dre, I would tell egg donor and sperm donor, I would tell them to fuck off. Me too. I would have said it the second they went on social media. Media. The second they called me a murmurer. The second they said I starved my kids. The second that they... um. May, the second that they profited off of the coma, I would never speak to them again. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? You know what? That's it. This guy literally knows nothing about the situation, and it's just so frustrating to see. He first says, oh, they didn't spend it on a lawyer, and doesn't know that the lawyer gets doxxed. Second of all, he calls and agrees that these the parents of Marvon are sp sperm donors. First of all, her only sin is trying to be a good mother when she was 15 years old, even and she was 14 years old when she had her first kid. Second was Marvon at 15. All she wanted to do what was best for Vaughn, along in having a son in a coma. She was fucking 15 year old, you fucking cockbite. 15! A child! A person who grew up too fast. In her vulnerable position, I have no doubt it was difficult giving up her child. What do you um, expect? How do we know that she wasn't a victim of horrific abuse of any kind? That something could have happened to her that could have been traumatic. Did you ever ask her? Not that you should, because again, that's really none of your business and it's in the past. But the point is, it wasn't fucking easy, you fucking goddamn cunt. Vaughn has forgiven her, had a relationship with her, evident through her Facebook posts and pictures. When will you acknowledge that Letitia re reconnecting with her son now, instead of cr instead of her implying that she was abandoning her son over 20 fucking years ago? You are in no position, by the way, to criticize her, and so fucking beyond tone deaf. Would you rather have Vaughn in po poverty while a 15-year-old child isn't at the proper age to get a goddamn job? She already had one child at fucking 14, and that in itself was already a tr struggle, let alone two. Do you seriously think she just gave up and bond to his grandmother? Not a stranger, by the way. An unloving mother would have given them to anyone, like leaving a puppy at a doorstep. But she chose his grandmother because she, she knew her grandmother was a good woman. That she wanted to give Vaughn the best life possible at the cost of her heartache until he grows up. As if a 15-year-old is capable of birthing and handling the emotional sides of motherhood as it is. And she gave him the choice to reconnect. And he did. She gave him boundaries. That's called being a mother. That's not being an egg donor. That's not her abandoning a baby as a goddamn doorstep and leave without turning back. And she definitely is no scammer. All she wants to do is see her fucking son. The best thing about this is his distractors have posted his records where to the surprise of fucking no one, he owes child support. Over a hundred dollars. I can't remember if it was in the past few years or current, but I do think the p time period is irrelevant. I'm not going to post that document if I ended up finding it because I'm all, not all that interested in putting in of his, any of his personal info because then he'll pull up the victim card like his real name and definitely the kids names because no. But isn't it funny that you got a lot to say about Letitia having a past of her own, yet you're the one who also failed to provide for your children and you were a grown as man, opposed to a 15 year old child. That's worse. I don't really care or know of on why he didn't um, pay his shit. Would it, be, would it surprise me if he was a deadbeat? Of course not. Since narcissists tend to project on others for their own trans transgressions or failures. But let's not act as if it isn't fair game. Do not throw stones at glass houses. Where the fuck were you when Charlotte on the web got docs and her past got put up out there? Twice by your fuck buddy KJ. Meanwhile, she has been nothing but kind to you, even defended you. Charlotte has told her side of the story where she has a positive relationship with her kids now who are witnessing their mother being smeared. She was also a young teen mother, also a kid herself with likely no support anywhere. 
Why were you so quiet then, Uni? That didn't even happen that too long ago. Why is it the only time you ever speak out against harassment is when it involves KJ, when she's crying about someone throwing a marshmallow at her? How much money is KJ paying you to be her lapdog? Why is she the only one you will defend to the death for harassment but stay silent for anyone else? All things considered, she's a trashy, privileged, tone-deaf, white, middle-class woman who will never understand low-income struggles, especially of people of color. You wouldn't know a damn thing about that. To her, everything should, everyone should live in a suburban home, a stay-at-home mom making bank on spreading lies and low-effort content the same way you do, have expensive iPhones, and even be paid by the government to fucking raise a child she ignores. You get paid by the government sitting on your ass all day. You don't know our or anyone's struggles. Not everyone can afford two Bentleys or want a government assistant the rest of their miserable lives and to sit in a chair vaping away the little brain cells that you possess. You can't even wipe your own ass or change clothes, let alone get a good mic or camera. Feel free to disagree with me on bringing up his child support, not being paid, but the thing is, that's still not the point. It could have been a fluke for all we know, or the judge being an asshole. I know fathers don't always have it easy with the family court system. I mean, go look at how Michael Long, Sophie Long's father, was treated. What he had to do to protect his daughter. And he got screwed by the justice system. But, either way, he has no room to talk. Because Letitia could have a past of her own, and it could have been completely out of her control. And I believe that because she was only 15 years old. She twisted... She and... Unirock twisted her mistake, used it against her to make her out to be this terrible, scamming mother exploiting her son in a coma for money. He's repeating again KJ's statements without getting Letitia's side, just like he has never gotten a side from anyone but KJ. An unemployed man who solely relies on government checks and making lazy content has no right to be talking about anyone else's past parenting from decades ago. At least Letitia has a job. You're too stupid to realize that she has a job and she's trying to pay off like lawyer fees and the people who actually scammed her, which once again, that you never ever ever mention. But you want to claim to be neutral, right? Yeah, no. No, you're not fooling nobody. Maybe your idiot subscribers, I mean some of them at least waking up and you're bleeding subscribers slowly. Which makes me happy, but people like you just don't deserve shit. Letitia had to go to work and she lasted one day with Bell's policy because she couldn't afford not to work. She even tried to wear a mask to hide her face because she knew that it would freak people out. And what do we see from you? You ordering your girlfriend who has no self-esteem since she's staying with you to get you stuff because you're too lazy to get up from your chair and get something? Yeah, aren't you a man of dignity? But then again, a man is not what you are, let alone a vet, which I will get into later. And especially all the more reason not to if he himself has a record but will gleefully bring up others without so much an issue. He'd be crying harassment if someone did it to him. Acknowledge your own goddamn record. Maybe you should pay your own child support or br before bringing up someone else's past or parenting and kindly shut the fuck up. Focus on paying that child support, then yapping away on your channel about others. Do not expect people to not dig up shit on you, especially with the way you attack people for something far ideal than what you are doing, what you've done. Nobody has to even care about your circumstances. I personally don't. I could care less. I hope you go broke and live on the streets for all I care. Since sure as hell don't care for others, you want Letitia to suffer financially. She just wants to see her son. So why should we give a shit about your boohoo victimhood? Don't act as if people are just doing this for no reason. While, is it something that I could fully agree with? No, not necessarily. But don't act as if you didn't have it coming. I'm a person of color myself, okay? I live comfortably now and have the most ideal circumstances. I've had issues with mental health and tragedies or trauma myself, even in my position. If someone like me could, what does that say for Letitia or Charlotte even? They were just children. 
How can I judge their parenting or past? Which again, even I can see it was never an easy decision because I'm not a parent. I don't think I will ever understand their circumstances. All the more reasons to not take jabs at what they have to do or had to do for their ch children's best interests. I don't get why a person who isn't a parent uh, or at least a parent just a name can understand their perspective than someone like Uni who does have a what is it that KJ calls um kids crotch fruits it's disgusting absolutely disgusting and not just he isn't just a father I I believe that he's just a dad in name he's not a real father I think he he and KJ are really the true sperm and egg donors and that's just the fact. For fuck's sake. Don't act like a little bitch for once in your entire life. Guess what? If you really care and want to convince everyone that you're not exploiting this family, stop covering it. You fancy yourself as this beacon of justice that exposes these fraud raisers and people come to you all the time. These are your words. Now, as I said, stop covering the story and find something else. Find someone else to harass and dox and pester and send to a hospital. Well, not really, but you get my point. If you're really good at what you do, why are you still on the story? Why are you still milking it? Go find another story. It should not be hard. Unless... Uh, unless... You're not who you say you are. Fact. I mean, why else do you think that no one's gonna work with you? I mean, you will send people to legal troubles because you don't even know how to, like, source someone properly or twist their words. There's a reason no one wants to work with you. And it's always the same few people that bother to associate with you that are just as scummy as you are. And they're stupid too, but that's a given, really. Okay, yeah, I kind of got a little heated. I've been, like, sort of calm for the most part throughout the video, but it's just this that just had me infuriated. It's just so ignorant, so stupid, and so unnecessary. That's the thing. That's the thing I hate the most. It's not like the bad actions of others. It's just a waste. Wasteful things annoy me more than anything else. And uni rock is just that. A waste of space. On a lighter note, how about we kind of check out instances of him misinterpreting information to the point where he'll get others in trouble. Or potential mass flagging. And doxing, despite him claiming that this only happened once with Creepshow. Then I'll just go ahead to the uh, <laughs> supposed vet bashing, and I'm making air quotes right now. And then I'll go ahead with a conclusion because this video has gone long enough. So hopefully this is just like another, I want to say 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I'll try to make it fast as possible. Oh, and one more thing actually before moving to the next clip. Uni went it af after uni got off that stream with Molly and basically started shit-talking them. He said that he was manipulating them with half-truths and all of that. So does that mean that he also made up that sob story about his kid and him supposedly being in the coma? Just a thought. Because now I feel like that was a fake too. Hey, it's his words I'm using. I'm not the one who's just relying on non-information. I hope that he isn't lying, but again, I'm just going by his words. But if he really did lie about it, that's disgusting that to lie about especially your kid almost losing your life. And even if you weren't lying, the fact that you're using it as one-up is still really fucked up, so you should really be ashamed of that. 
Uni Rock is someone who has blindly defended Katie Joy up to this point. Like, I don't know what his deal is, but like, he seems to think that she's completely innocent and people are just picking on her. Several times people have reached out to him to tell him, no, dude, you're in the wrong on this one. She's absolutely a terrible person. And for whatever reason, he just continued to defend her, which was insanely ridiculous when all the evidence pointed against her. But it seems like now he's kind of gotten the hint that, you know what? Maybe defending this woman isn't the right thing to do. Maybe she really is a bad person like everyone else was trying to tell me. Who I used to talk to this uni rock guy, but I don't know. The guy, he, he always seems to back the wrong horse, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I don't have beef with the guy necessarily, although he did get me into some trouble. Because he reported on a story that I reported on. And in his reporting of it, he shared some misinformation. And then he quoted me as his source. So I had a bunch of people coming to me. Why did you say this? This isn't true. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Look at this dude's video. He's quoting you as his source. And I'm like, I didn't say that though. So he got me into some trouble. But that that's a whole different thing. I don't have beef with the guy. I just... I keep my distance from the dude. Because he just... He always seems to back the wrong horse and share misinformation. That's just my opinion. No, no beef, no diss or anything like that, but the guy just constantly gets shit wrong. Anyway. So basically you just heard, um, Tipster. Uni has no issue getting other creators in potential legal trouble. Um, at worst, at best, he just steals their research. Um, all for a quick buck. Back, this was when he was a gaming channel. He actually cited Tipster as a source for a video discussing Twin Galaxies, which is a game company to my understanding in the retro community. I reached out to the homie for a statement on this, and it'll be on the screen, so pause to read if you want. Tipster has also addressed it in the past, as you could see when KJ went out in Doc's Creepshow and when she got sued by Tati Westbrook. As far as I know, no apology or retraction was mentioned. I looked all over his godforsaken channel, didn't see nothing. Thanks, Tip, by the way, if unfortunately you're watching this for Elf helping me out here a little bit. Please go sub to him and add him on Instagram and Twitter to make an OnlyFans. He specifically told me if he gets a few dozen followers, he'll finally create one. Oh, and tell him Azaria sent you. I'm sure he'll be thrilled at your suggestions. It's all for a greater good. Thank you for tuning in. Watch out for part two soon. Part two will discuss potential mass flagging, tone deafness and racism, and vet bashing, quote unquote, along with a conclusion to this two part series. I did not expect this to be as long as it did. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Later.